Since 2004, HIS has focused on strengthening families and developing positive character in lives of inner city youth. She currently hosts One Pearl and One Star programs, along with other workshops. Dr. Sharpley has earned a cosmetology license, a bachelor's degree in healthcare administration, and was awarded an honorary doctorate in humane letters in 2003. We are very fortunate to have Dr. Sharpley with us this evening. Please welcome Dr. Deshaun Sharpley. Thank you, President Bass. Wow, I am so excited for you all. Are you all excited this evening? Graduates, nothing happens until you get excited. You have to get excited about your life, about your dreams. You have to get excited. You have to get excited. Let me hear you one more time. How excited you are. is waking up in the morning, whoever you are, wherever you are, however old or young, and bounding out of bed because there's something out there that excites you, that you love to do, that you believe in, that you're good at, something that's bigger than you are. And you can hardly wait to get at it again today. Now that's success. Did you all hear what he said? He gave you the keys to success, the formula for success. Now I'm going to share with you four things that I discovered about success. That if you begin to implement them right now, I guarantee you too will experience success. The first thing you must do is believe. You have to believe in yourself. You can't be what you can't see. You have to believe in you as only you can do. I love what Henry Ford said. He said, whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're absolutely right. What do you think about yourself? Do you believe that you can be the next graphic designer? Do you believe that you can be the next fashion designer? It's all about what you believe about yourself. Regardless of what your friends think, your family thinks, it's all about what you believe about yourself. So again, graduates, in order for you to be successful, the first thing you must do is believe. The second thing you must do is dream. You have to dream. One of my all-time favorite quotes is by Robin Sharma, which essentially says, if people aren't laughing at your dreams, your dreams aren't big enough. Let me say that one more time, because that's a powerful quote that I live by every day. If people aren't laughing at your dreams, your dreams aren't big enough. You need to think big. So I challenge each and every one of you, when you go home tonight, get in that quiet space where it's just you and your thoughts, not that little person talking to you. I want that big person to rise up that's on the inside of you. Speak life to yourself. Begin to speak about those big things that you want to happen in your life, and they will happen. But you have to believe, and you have to dream. The next thing you have to do is do. You have to do. In order to be successful, you have to be committed to do the work. Commitment is that fine line between wishing and doing. Nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. You have to get up. You have to take action. Because you can wish all you want to. But until you write the vision and make it plain, it's just a dream. You need to follow what it is that you're passionate about. If you can do one thing that you're passionate about, people will pay you to do it. Don't look at the monetary gain of what you got that degree for. Do it because it's something that you absolutely love to do. There's a saying that one of my good friends, Ken Brown, always says, if you set yourself on fire, people will pay to watch you burn. Now that's deep, let me say it again. <laughs> If you set yourself on fire, people will pay to watch you burn. And what he's saying is that if you are so passionate about that thing that you enjoy doing, if it's fashion design, 
if it's interior design, if it's web design, if you are so passionate about that thing, and you get out there and you show people what you have, what you're made of, they will pay you for that gift. Everyone can't do what you can do. But if you're good at it and you show up, people will pay you to do what you love to do. So don't think about the money. Don't say, you know what, I need a career that pays me $100,000. Think about what you love to do because that money will follow you. The next thing you do need to do is, let me back up because I want to share a story with you. I want to share a story with you about someone who wanted success so bad that he could taste it, literally. And he didn't quit until he reached success. I'm talking about Colonel Sanders, who at the ripe age of 65 years old started KFC. His story is one that is truly amazing, truly inspiring, because it's an example of how perseverance, dedication, and ambition, along with hard work, can create success, regardless of your age. Colonel Sanders has become a world-known figure by marketing his finger-licking good Kentucky Fried Chicken. One of the most amazing aspects of his life is the fact that when he reached the age of 65, after running a restaurant for a few years, he retired because it was time. He was 65. But when he got his first Social Security check, which was for $105, Dollars. $105. You know what he did? He got mad. He said, this is ridiculous. He put on that crisp white suit that we've seen him in and that black bow tie, and he went door to door trying to sell his chicken recipe. Legend has it that Colonel Sanders heard a thousand and nine no's before he heard one yes. Let me repeat that. He was turned down 1,009 times before his chicken recipe was accepted one time. So on your journey to being successful, you're going to hear no. It's okay. You're going to hear no. But just like Colonel Sanders did, don't quit on your dreams. Don't quit on your dreams. Which leads me to my last and probably my most important principle. Whoever thought about today's theme was brilliant. Because listen to this powerful theme. Perseverance, with this step, we begin our journey to success. That is so powerful. You all need to let that resonate in your spirit because it's all about perseverance. All about perseverance. So on your journey to building your business, to building that dream that you have just been dreaming so big about, you're going to have some stops. You're going to have some stalls. But they're not there to stop you. They're there to see how bad do you want it? How bad do you really want it? Let me tell you about a few people who wanted it so bad that they didn't let no stop them. Let's start with J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter. She didn't magically become richer than the Queen of England overnight. Penniless, recently divorced, and raising a child on her own she wrote the first Harry Potter book on an old manuscript typewriter. How bad do you want it? Twelve publishers rejected her book. They rejected it. But a year later, she was given an opportunity. She was given that green light by Barry Cushenberg from Bloomsbury, who agreed to publish the book. But he insisted, you need to get a job, because no one's buying children's books. Really? Look at her now. What if she stopped at the first no? What if she stopped at the fifth no? What if she stopped at the tenth no? Graduates, don't quit on your dreams. Please, don't quit on your dreams. Let me tell you about someone else. Walt Disney. Yes. The man who gave us Disney World. The man who gave us my man, Mickey Mouse. Okay? His first animation company went bankrupt. Did you hear what I said? It went bankrupt. He was fired by a news editor who 
said that you lack imagination. Really? Walt Disney, you lack imagination? Legend has it that he was turned down 302 times before he got his financing for creating Disney World. Just imagine if he would have given up at that first no. Just imagine that. Once again, graduates, can't quit on your dreams. You cannot, absolutely, positively cannot quit on your dreams. Things are gonna happen. Things probably happen as you were making your way towards today, but you made it. You didn't let those things stop you. You didn't let them hinder you from getting here today. That's how life is. This is not gonna be the last time you experience something like this. Life is a journey, it's not a destination. You're gonna hit those roadblocks along the way, but again, they're not there to stop you. They're there to see how bad do you want it. Think about that, how bad do I want it? I would like to conclude by sharing a thought by Henry Wadsworth, Longfellow, that says, perseverance is a great element of success. If and only if you only knock long enough, loud enough at that gate, and that gate for you is called success, you are sure to wake up somebody let me say that one more time, because that's a powerful quote. If you only knock long enough and loud enough, will someone come and hear you? So that means you can't quit. You gotta keep knocking until someone hears you. I hear you, who's there? I hear you. Do it until they answer that door. Don't quit on your dreams. People will quit on you, but you cannot quit on your dreams. You have to do it, graduates. You have to do it. The first thing you have to do again is you have to believe in yourself like it's nobody's business. You have to dream so big that it absolutely scares you to death. You have to. No more self-talk that's little. That little person that's talking, you need to get them out your head. If it's a friend, if it's a family member, you need to cut it. Because where you're headed, you need folk that will encourage you and lift you up and believe in you. We have enough naysayers. We have enough of that. Surround yourself, that bad five that you have, or like T-Mobile has recently come out with a commercial, your family. Make sure that your family is folk that believe in what it is that you desire to do that will encourage you, that will lift you up and not tear you down, because you need that. You need people in your inner circle that will be cheerleaders for you. That's so important. The company that you keep, that saying that they have birds of a feather flock together is true. Watch the company that you keep. Surround yourself with positive people that are going your way. As my mother always told us, if people aren't going out your way, get out my way. You gotta go. Remember, graduates, in order for you to be successful, you gotta again believe. Dream so big that it scares you, you have to do it. Don't talk about it, be about it. Don't ever, I cannot say this enough, don't ever, 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 ever quit on your dreams. Success is waiting for you, success is in your hands. Go get it.